Here's everything you need to know about California's governor recall election on September 14th. First off, every single registered Californian voter should have already received a mail-in ballot that is already paid for, as well as a voter's guide. The envelope includes the ballot itself, stickers, guides, instructions, and as well as another envelope to mail in the ballot. But the two most important things are the questions that the ballot has. Question number one is very simple. Should Governor Newsom be recalled, yes or no? And the second one, if Governor Newsom is recalled, who do you want him to be replaced with? And there are 46 options. There are a few key details about this special election. Number one, you don't need to answer both questions for your ballot to count. Number two, the first question regarding whether Gavin Newsom should or shouldn't be recalled is based off of majority vote. But the second question is based off of popular vote. That means that even if Gavin Newsom receives 49% of the votes in his support, he will already be recalled. But if one of the challengers receives as few as 20% of the votes, and that is the most popular out of all the candidates, then that will be the winner. Out of the 46 candidates, Larry Elder, Kevin Faulkner, and John Cox are the front runners, and all three happen to be Republican. A recall election in California is nothing new. Every single governor in the past 60 years has dealt with at least one of these. The reasons behind Gavin Newsom's recall election include his dealings with the pandemic, immigration, gun rights, his stance on the death penalty, and the incident with the French Laundry, amongst many others. I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, I'm just asking you to please vote. And no, I don't have all the answers, but I can definitely help you find them. Please DM me with any questions that you may have. Please share this video with any Californian so that everyone in California is informed about what will take place within the next two weeks.